How is it going guys? Luke here and welcome back for another episode with some Pot Limit Omar content. Today we're jumping into the micro stakes games on GG Poker. Playing the great game of Pot Limit Oma. We're gonna get right into the action. This is a live recording of myself playing four tables. If you guys like the content, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up and also check out the link below in the comment section if you want to learn more about the great game head over to plomastermind.com obviously that being said let's jump right into it four tables as you can see we're playing some regular tables buying in for 100 big blinds and let's see how it goes uh bottom right top and bottom pair um, no, not that much backup. Generally a hand we can consider to, uh, to check back for sure. I think that's completely fine. Um, betting is also, uh, also reasonable. Especially on a board this dry to pair is pretty strong. Runouts are not too scary. Uh, top right. I just thought we actually make quaddies. On the bottom right. I think I'm gonna pot it. I think I'm gonna pot it. And ooh, guys, look at that! Look at that! Raising the blockers. Raising the blockers. Nice. Welcome to PLO ten. Welcome to PLO ten. Uh, bottom left, we did lead. Definitely a board we have. A decent leading range on. Uh, not a great turn. We're going to check. He checks back fairly quickly. He could have like a flush. A straight. A weak flush. Straight sort of. No great blockers to the board. Uh, I'm going to check still and give up. And my opponent floated very wide. And also a very wide. Open race. From the earlier positions. Uh, let me actually check one thing in my settings. Hmm. Okay. So um, let me know if you guys also play these games or what games you are playing. What are the biggest struggles that you have at the moment? Uh, I recorded a footage, a video last week. Uh, which was about how to escape these games. I think I gave like three or four tips on how I would approach that and what my reasonings for certain strategies are on how to get out of these games. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, make sure to do so. Head over to my page and you will find it titled How to Escape the Micros. Uh, open raising top left. King Queen Jack 4. Bottom right, we have bottom pair in a three way pot. We're going to start with the Jack Fold. And take it from there. Top right, we have a single suited rundown. Um, not a hand you want to three bet. Uh, you want to be very selective with your three bets, uh, especially if they are single suited. Generally not a combination you three bet a lot. We have trips. We're going to check race, unblocking, flush dwarves, and aces, kings. My opponent folds. In check raising paired boards, generally speaking, people over C bet there. Um, so attacking them a little bit more aggressive is a reasonable strategy in my opinion. Uh, a lot of tables running in these games. Um, top left we have an open ender. We're going to start with a check. 
Again, three-way pots. Like, you will see a lot of multi-way pots in these games. People just don't like to fold pre-flop. Um, or at the bottom end, I do think I just want to check fold. We also see a good amount of limpers. Uh, bottom right, for example. My opponent who did check raise the river when I had quaddies is now limping. Uh, just gonna check. Don't expect to have any fold equity if I raise, and my hand is not necessarily pushing a lot of equity against anything, so. Um, you wanna start betting now? Take it down. Also interesting always to look at showdowns, see how people are approaching the games. So whenever you, there's not much action, use the time to look into your opponent's place, potentially mark down some, uh, some reads. Bottom left. Uh, top pair on a low paired board. Three way. Not necessarily board. We will have a lot of strong hands on. And I'm going to start with a check. Beautiful turn. The four. On this turn. Uh, I think I'm going to use this size. A little bit larger. Top left. We get three bet. And this is the hand we're going to fold. Unsuited to the ace. Pretty disconnected. Not a hand that plays well versus a three betting range. The fault. I guess limpers, I think you can have different strategies. Um, there are arguments for attacking them very aggressive. Um, because they generally limp wide ranges. So a lot of hands are ahead of that range. So raising aggressive does make sense. Uh, but position definitely plays a role in my opinion. Like out of position, you want to be a little bit tighter. In position, you can do that more. At the same time, realize that you have not much fold equity preflop overall against these limpers. And therefore, you can be a little bit selective at least. Um, because you're guaranteed to pay rake, basically. Uh, a couple of hands, top right, bottom right. We are going to check on this board. Top right, we're also checking. Bottom left, we turn the nuts and we're going to pot it. Mm, top right. I think I will check again. We have two pair. I think it's a little bit too light to go for value. So I'm going to uh, check it down. I win. My opponent didn't three bet this hand. Uh, yeah, King King 10 3 definitely a hand you uh, is fine to three bet really from the small blind. Uh, 
Um, bottom right, not a hand to steal with. A little bit too weak, and my opponents play also too many hands. If you want to come in for wider steals in the button, that's completely fine in many situations, but... Probably the most important factor, or one of the two most important factors, is like how wide or aggressive are your opponents. If they are very tight, uh, you can come in for a lot of steals. Uh, bottom left, we have aces. Top left, we are... I think we're just going to fall pretty. It's a pretty weak hand, actually. Aces again, top right. Let's see if we can have some action. Unfortunately not. Right now it's 11 a.m. in the morning in Holland. Just also played some PLO 200 on this side and thought now let's record a session for all of you again. Bottom right, uh, top two pair, no backup. We have actually three pair. Good raise. I think I'm just gonna call actually. Our raising range generally prefers to have some form of backup. Because if you get cold, you want to have reasonable playability in large pots. Um, not a great spot. I think with a diamond blocker, we have to call at least one more time. If you triple barrels. Pretty close, he's wrapping basically the nut flush or the second nut flush. Like he bets flop. He could definitely do that with like hands like queen jack 10 with a flush four. He could also do it with like hands like king, queen, queen with one diamond and then barrels turn a river. Um, I would say we just have to, we have to continue sometimes in this situation. Um, probably around, probably calling around, I don't know, 25% of the time. So, let's go with that. Uh, unfortunately, we roll, or we roll low this time, so I'm gonna fold. I think calling sometimes is, uh, is okay there. But because I would expect people to be a little bit tighter than they probably should, um, folding a bit more is, is okay. Uh, bottom right, boards we're gonna bet a lot against the limping range. We take it down. A lot of limpers, right? It's basically, I mean, almost every end there is a limper. Top left again. Postmanen is limping. Um, gonna pot it. Top right, we also come in for a steal or a race, basically. Let's play MP. Uh, good board for our range. Gonna do a lot of betting there, including this end. Bottom left, we will also play this hand most likely. And then jack eight, or ten, ten, nine, eight. I mean, I think we want to squeeze this combination, uh, especially if my opponents are capable of folding kings to jacks. It's a great squeeze. If not, then 
becomes more questionable, but we don't know that, so let's go with it first. Um, easy call now versus this. Four bet, and we flop a set, and a flush draw. Uh, there we go. We take it down. We take it down. He's king, king, top left. We will three bet this hand. Would be a hand to fold versus four bet. Um, so we have an over pair, king of spades. This is a board my opponent will connect reasonably well with think about the rundowns and the hands he can call with versus three bet like a lot of queen jack ten eye rundowns basically we can bet fold not sure if my hand has enough blocker value to do that really but if we check i mean the playability of our hand is almost zero um not sure not sure. I think I still go for a check. That is a reasonable turn. Which I'm going to bet on. Don't expect him to have like too many. Ooh, look at the river. What a beauty. Uh, unfortunately, he will going to he's going to fold very often. Look at all the draws that are available and that miss. Like I expect a ton of folds. Another limper. Let's fold. I'm going to play a few more hands and then wrap it up. Uh, bottom left, let's play that one. Pretty close, not a great hand. Top right, top pair, ace of hearts. Hmm. Okay, let's check it down. King 10 wins. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay, let's play the last hand on the top right. Okay, that's gonna be it, guys. GG. Subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy the session. Also, give the video a thumbs up. And any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Over and out, this is Luke. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.